Hey friends, I have a video that is gonna become your favorite fall project. All you need is a Dollar Tree pumpkin, some fabric, some moss, either Excelsior or Spanish moss. I have some pit berries. I have some gorgeous florals that I'm gonna be using as well. And you're gonna need a package of nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. So let me show you what I do first is I take a pen of some sort and I outline the shape of a pumpkin onto the back side of the board. I then take some fabric and make sure that I give myself at least two inches all the way around. Next is the fun part. We're gonna take some moss and we're gonna start to add it into the little areas that you created on your project. We're then gonna take our fabric and start to glue it in between little pockets of Excelsior Moss, giving yourself an incredible 3D pumpkin form. This was by far one of my favorite projects I've ever created for fall, and I figured it would be fun to make this into a quick video for you to show you how you too could create a favorite of mine. Again, we're going through this process of gluing it. Now this one in the middle, you do wanna create little pleats with your fabric to make sure it stays nice and tight and it creates the shape of the middle of the pumpkin. I go all the way through and I end up with all of the parts being done and it gives you this gorgeous form where it leaves space in between to add, of course, you probably guessed it, some nautical rope. The next step is to tighten down all the fabric to the back side. Now make sure that if your fabric is not keeping the exact shape that you pull it and you make sure that it's completely flushed. This is gonna be really important at the end. I then take some jute twine and I wrap it all the way around the stem of the pumpkin and it already looks so cute just the way it is, but we're gonna keep going. So I'm gonna take this twine next and I'm gonna start at the top and we're gonna go all the way around the perimeter first gluing it, making sure that you twist along the way. I thought I would go through the middle part there, but I decided to do the complete perimeter first, maintaining the shape of the pumpkin as you go all the way around. Here's that center part, and we go ahead and give it a clean cut at an angle, so that way you can fuse your two twine ropes together. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add some rope to the center. Now you wanna cut your rope at an angle and you wanna flatten it down underneath and attach it to the rope. So that way it gives you really clean seams and you don't see excess amounts of glue or the seam on your pumpkin. So I go through and I do this for all of them and you can see this is looking incredible. It's again, one of my absolute favorites that I've ever done and I got so excited when I finished this project and saw how cute it came out. Next, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add some florals. I decided to do my florals off to one side and what I did was I created a little mini bouquet and I bundled them together off to the one side. I used a little bit of leaves in the background and I went ahead and glued this to that top corner, giving myself a beautiful pop of color and really making this project stand out. So right there, I just glued a leaf to the back where I wanted it so that way the placement of the leaf stood out above the top of it. The last thing I do is have this um, glued down and I decided to add a gorgeous sunflower directly over the middle part of it and I added in some pit berries as well. So this 3D piece of gorgeousness is super budget friendly, literally a fat quarter of fabric, a pumpkin form from Dollar Tree and some florals. I hope this inspires you to get crafty. If you enjoy this craft, please sprinkle it out, spread the love, and come follow me over at Southern Crafts Corner. Happy crafting and happy harvest, y'all. We'll see you soon.